Hello everyone and welcome back to another James World video. So in today's video I'm going to show you a few tools you're going to need if you own a Vauxhall Corsa. So if you've been watching my channel for a while now, you probably would have seen my videos on Project SXI. This is where we did a load of different work to my Vauxhall Corsa. And if you haven't seen the videos yet, I'll link them on the screen and they'll be in the description as well. But whilst doing the work, I kind of came across uh, various tools that I seem to be using over and over again. I think during the series I actually gained a lot of viewers that also own Vauxhall courses. So I figured a good video to do would be to show you the tools that I use the most, um, what tools that you should purchase if you do own a course and you want to do your own work on your Corsa. So let's get into it. So here I have laid out a few different tools. We actually have six different tools here. All that I found myself using very often. Um, I'm going to go from left to right and just talk you through all the tools. It's a really good idea to own every single one of these tools if you're going to be doing some serious work on your Vauxhall. Now, first in line is a Opcom system. This is a diagnostic system for Vauxhall. Um, if you own any Vauxhall, this is always a good idea, but, but it works on the Corsa just as well. You will need a laptop to use this, um, but this is a very, very good piece of kit. And you can do all sorts of stuff. You can read codes, uh, clear codes. You can even program your car to do different things. You can program keys, uh, you can turn off airbag lights and you can pretty much do anything with this. And it's also really cheap. So it's a very, very good purchase. Um, I recommend this to everybody that owns a Vauxhall. Next in line, we have Torx bits. Now these are the T-Torx, these, the, these are the male Torx as you can see. These come in all different sizes. You can get really tiny ones. Um, you can even get bigger ones than this. Um, but it's good to have a nice little range of them, ranging from the smaller ones to the bigger ones. Uh, you come across torque. A lot of interior stuff is held together with torque bits um, and also a lot of stuff in the engine bay is too. Um, so they are an absolute must. Next we're going to move on to female torques. Now these are E torques. Uh, these also range from really small ones to larger ones like this. You can get even bigger ones than this. I think they go up to E24. Um, but again, good to have a full set just in case you come across all different size fasteners. Um, I actually used E10s, E12s and E18s the most out of the lot. Um, but again, it's good to have a full set just so you've got them. So you probably notice a bit of a pattern here, but we also have Torx spanners. Now these are really good for getting to places where the sockets just won't fit. Um, as you can imagine, when you use a normal socket and a normal spanner, um, spanners are good for getting in these really tight places that a socket just won't. Uh, these spanners actually come different sizes on each end. So we have an E18 this end, and on the other end there's an E14. Um, again, I've got a whole set of these, so I'm pretty much covered for any size that I need. Uh, pretty cheap as well. You can even get ratcheting type ones of these with a ratchet mechanism on them, um, which may I may actually end up getting at some point um, just to make it a little bit easier. Now, the last hand tool we have here is this. I don't actually know the proper name for this, um, but what it is, it's for when you're talking at bolts, this is your degrees. Now on Vauxhalls, for some reason, they like to use degrees, not just uh, newton meters. So you'll talk a fastener to say 60 newton meters, and it'll then tell you to do three 90 degree turns uh, using a tool like this. Now this is a necessity. You need one of these. If you're gonna be doing some ma major engine work, i.e. head bolts and stuff, you need one of these to tighten them to the proper torque. Um, these are really cheap. I think this was about eight pounds. Uh, so definitely worth the investment. Um, so yeah, last but not least, we have a timing tool kit. Now, this is only going to be needed if you're going to be doing some serious work on your car, i.e. changing the timing chain on your vehicle. Um, this is kind of needed. You get every single bit in it that you need. It comes covers all these engines. So you've got from the 1 litre all the way to the 1.4 twin cam. Um, it get, comes with all of those different bits and pieces inside. Uh, so when you're doing a timing chain, that is an absolute must. So yeah, that's about it. Obviously, you're going to need ratchets, extensions, all that other stuff. Uh, but these are the main tools that you're going to need uh, when you're taking apart a Corsa, um, be it the engine bay, interior, whatever it is you're doing. Um, these tools all come in extremely handy. So there we go. They're the tools you're going to need if you're going to be working on your Corsa yourself. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you comment down below, let me know what you think. If there's any additional tools that you think I should add to this, then let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video.